All right. Hey there, Sam, back with you. Thursday, May 31st, and finishing up our day here. Last one per member request was for Cardano. So I've got, I've got 88 of Bitcoin uh, here on Bittrex. Now we we've looked at this coin many times, right? So it just just I, I won't go through all all of this 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 action here, but we're working on the assumption that I have a good technical pivot down here. I mean, potentially now we've got the start of a new trend. So we could, you know, th this certainly there's some there's some sort of an impulsive structure here. There's some sort of a we could call, just call it a motive wave. There's some sort of a one here, and then we get this A B C. Now, you know, it's always good. You just if, if you've seen this before, this is review. If it's the first time, if you're new to my YouTube channel or you're a new member and you haven't seen this before, you always want to check these and see, well, was it technical going down? Well, you can see here, so from our A way, we come to our B, right? But here's the 50. We get a couple of wicks through, but we're, so we're right where you'd expect it, just like a two wave. It's between the 50 and the 786. That's where you're looking for it. We rip down here. This looks to me like here, this is the front run on the on the algo target because we get to and through. And so you look at that and you think, hmm, oh, why? so what's there? What else could be there that's offering some support? Well, there's this this potential, this wave one high here. So as you'll, you'll see that it's quite often here. Prior resistance will become the support. So you can see it's to the tick here. And then here we, we get through it by just a, just a tick. But it's just very common. So it's always good to look left and see if you have any structural support or resistance you might be running into. So here we get it twice in a row. Here's the one, then here's again the one. So of course, just to be consistent, we'd want to wick this potential wave one off here and see if that ultimately comes back into play later down the road. The, the other variable here, <clears throat> And it's maybe a little bit hard for you to see it, but there was a second one. So, so the, if they get their target here, but there's a second one, so they get to pile on. So what that that is right here. So from the B to this first break here, I've, and I've shown this before, so you, you can see it here. So we get here's the 50, and then we get first target. Looks like this is there's, this is why I think there's a front run because we had two three one eights, or pardon me, two twenty three sixes lined up there. But we get the second algo target to, damn near to the tick. Right, so the, the, so j just to lay it out to you, so you can see why this was important. So if I look down here, right, so you see this, we get two of them lining up right here. So th this little reaction here, likely just the, the the profit taking there, but it's got more legs and it keeps going, and they ultimately they get their second target. So algos, they 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 as they often do and usually do, and eventually always do get paid. Right, so they got it twice on the way down. All right, so that said, the, what, the point of going through all of that is to build the case for this being a solid pivot that we can work from. All right, so with that, that established, if we allow for that, so given this, so the first thing, right, when we get three pivots like that, we'll put a pitchfork on it. So we've got some potential market geometry here. The assumption now, if, if those three pivots hold, we have 80% probability of making the median lines. It's Andrew's trading principle number one, the most significant, 80%. Now, we don't know if we get it here, if we get it down here, but at some point, as long as these pivots hold, right, that's the caveat, as long as those three pivots hold, 80% probability of making the median line. We get, we, now, just because you make the median line doesn't mean you pivot there. You, very often you'll see it, but we could blow right through to the upper parallel. That would be our wave three target. <clears throat> so if we think about this in, the, in an Elliott context, you know, is this one, two? Well, it certainly could be, right? It's deep, but we know it stays internal, right? Here's my absolute low, absolute high. So I have an internal retracement. I've got three waves and I've got all the subdivision to give me here. I've got technical pivot. I got algo target. So I got a good low here. So working off of that low, what do I get? Well, I get an impulse wave. I've got five. New trend potentially now has, has started. Now it gets a little, a little tricky in here. Right, we still, you get you get a very shallow a shallow B wave now so there's there there are three swings in there but it's you know it's not it's not textbook you'd like to see that B come a little higher but nonetheless there it is and we put in this pivot down here and you can see the traction we're getting off of that low it's a pretty good move now I'm on a 12 hour chart when we go down to a lower time frame that's going to really stand out so I'm going to go down to a two hour let's let's see what that looks like so here here's my my pivot down here. Let's get this up, right? When you change time frames, you typically are going to have to reline some of these up as you get a little movement as you make that change. All right, so three, four in. So that's that one. So here, here's the squirrely part of it. So we come down here, we get this A, but we get this very shallow 
B wave. That, we get down here, we get to a C. So you look at it and you go, well, okay, yeah, yeah. There's three in it. You know, it's very, very shallow. I don't even think we make the 23. We might make it just, just barely as I look at it. Yeah. We, so here's the 23. But interestingly, we run into the median line here. Damn near put put the pivot on that. So we and we get we get this. It's 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 there. It's it's skinny, but you you get a little A B and then we get the C. Right. So we've got we we've got the ingredients there. Let me get that right on it. So we've got the ingredients there for that B wave to be there. Yeah, granted, that's very shallow. And if you were looking for the cell there, I would not have caught that. I'd been, I'd have been waiting up here at the 50. So I mean I did not catch that, uh, but th there in terms of analyzing it here, I've got a contender now. So A, B, C, and I've got subdivision down here. So you can see a one, two, three, four. We come down, we get five. I'd want to check what else can, can I find there? Anything else to give me more confidence in that low? Well, if I, I think that's right there. So if I if I'm right on it, you can see here we come right to the 618. So we're, we've got a long A, shallow B, and then we end up damn near to the tick getting the 618, the length of the A wave. Right, so in, in a, on a shallow C wave, that's you know that's why that's there. That's, that's commonly found. More typical would be the 100, but we run into this prior, this prior resistance here that kicks offer offers some structural support. Note here we get the we've got the algo target here. You can see there was a little reaction here. One more dive down before we took this this move up. So I've got I've got you know enough to support the idea. You see very low volume node here. All right, so we, we, we that's just the kind of thing you're looking for here. So market doesn't doesn't like it there, so you get the reaction coming out of here. So we don't have market acceptance. Down here, we have the most market acceptance. That's our point of control. So this is set to visible range. So in the range that I can see here from swing low to swing high, this is the highest trading volume is down here. Right, low volume node, market is either gonna, gonna pivot there or it's gonna cluster there and then, then we'll get more trading there and then that low volume will move to high volume. But we come down, we go right into that little low volume pivot and then rip right out of it. So now looking where we are here, well, let's, let's, now we're sitting on a two hour. Do I have a, do I, you know, I had, something's underway. I don't see great subdivision here. Let's, let's clean this up a little bit here. So as, as it sits right there, I, I would not be a buyer here unless you bought this. I would not be, I would not be buying here. I'd be just, you know, as you've seen me do a, a thousand times, I, I would just be waiting for the retracement. So at some point, we're gonna, we're, th this is going to pivot. So we'll, we'll get so a lot of reasons for it. But one is people that bought it here, they, they can't resist taking some profit. So eventually we're going to get a, a pivot that might set it up for that. That, that, that's what we'd be looking for. So the trade is on the next retracement, right? Don't buy retail, wait for it to go on sale. All right, we get, we get, can we get it at 50% off? Well, that's where we're looking for that wave too. So potentially you're just getting a one, two, trying to get the three. You got a target up, well, you got a median line target. But you know, th this, even if I go down, let's go down, uh, I'll take it all the way to the 15. Do I have a, do I have a motive wave there? Oh, this, this, uh, gets a little squirrely when we get down here. So let me take that off. So yeah, boy, let's see if I can fatten that up here and we can get a better look at it. So here's my pivot here. We can take that off here. So do I, yeah, potentially I've got it. So if I look here, so it looks like I've got one, two, Oh, it looks like that's three, four, and we're going up to, to finish here in, in a five. So if I wick off this one here, potential proposed, right? At first glance, looks like that's my one. I got my three here. I've got my A, B, C here. Oh, come here. I got my A, B, C bringing me down here for my potential four right to the Vegas wave. Always interesting. So let, let's check that. So if I'm working from my, two to my three high, All right? So what do we do here? 50 to the tick, All right? So one, two, three, A, B, C, 50 to the tick. We've already got first algo target. We're getting some cluster, some reaction up there. Now, does it keep going? Well, it looks like it might because you can see within that, within this final leg, now granted, I'm down here on a 15 minute. So it looks like we might now, it looks like there might be some sort of a four or five going in here. So maybe we get second algo target, right? So that's, that's always a possibility here. So let's put that up a degree. We'll go, uh, go to minuet. Okay. Does that make sense? Actually, that's 
Let's go, hang on a second. Let's go down. We'll take that to, and then we'll put this will be our larger degree here. So we got to take that up. We'll go to minuet. Okay, now it makes sense. Okay, so here's my two, right? Here's the pivot that I'm working from. I've got this. This is not right on the low. All right, one, two, three, perfectly technical four. Got my three wave structure that I'm looking for. Come 50 to the tick. Algos kick in. Algos have already taken profit, right? So something so again, you know. You you never know what they're doing, but what what I can see is that somebody took some profit here. So just this this hesitation here, that's that's selling. Now you have the additional possibility here that there's a there's an additional leg here that this is just coming down for a four before we go up for a five. So we'd be put four of some sort coming up. We finish the five up here. That would allow for this to complete to give us the fifth here. Right. So now we go back out. Let's go to a one hour and think about that. Does that make sense? Okay, so if this is one, two, so let's squeeze it all back in. Get it all back where we can see it. Okay, so here's A, B, C into my two. So all I'm trying to do is get this one wave to complete. So at some point up here, we're going to get... All right, so let me pull my hypothetical off. All right, so at some point here, there's going to be a pivot that will set us up for the potential now to go. So if it's here, if we come down, and then we're looking for that. Right, that that's what we're after. So it, we're we're waiting for the two. So this is all the confirmation to give us the the confidence that I've got a good pivot down here. So if I can get this in five, now I then I wait. So I tech, actually, what I'm actually waiting for is to see this pivot down here, and then I want to see it come down in three, and then I'm looking for that. So that's that's the point of of working through all of this to try and qualify. Where are we? Where are we, what what happened? Can I, where are the algos? What they do last? Do I have an Elliott count that's in play? If it's in play, where am I in that count? Well, if this is my my larger degree two down here, then all I, I'm just putting in a one. So the the there's not the, you know that's why sometimes people say, oh shit, man, I missed it. You didn't miss anything. So it, I mean, you you didn't you didn't get the actual pivot low, but you don't need to. What you need to do is, is, is look for probabilities where this, this structure here implies new trend. Remember, right, foundational Elliott 101. We trend in fives, we correct in threes. So if I've got a new trend starting, I, I got to qualify it with a five, which is, think of it this way. So it's just a series of internal and external retracements. So, I, so from the one to the two, internal. I break the one, now I've got external. I come down for the four, that's internal. From the two to the three, internal. I break the three, now I'm external. Right? So it's a series of higher highs and higher lows, which creates the five wave structure. Right? We, we correct it, assuming we're now, if we're moving higher, we come down, now we get a low, I retrace internal retracement, now I break the low, I've got an external retracement. So I've got a lower high and a lower low. Right? So fives and threes, that's what de defines the entire, the entire Elliott cycle. So do I have a new trend here? If I get a five, well, I've got a five of some sort here, right? allowing for this count. Do I finish it yet? Do I still have more to go? It looks that way. Let's get this down here. I don't like that structure. So if, if this is pushing up for one more, then I, we just wait. You just sit and you wait. So if we if we pivot up here, let's assume that we do. All right. So we just allow for it. So I got to go all the way back to my pivot low. So I've got a completed five. Now I just wait for the 50. All right. So is it going to be the 50 or the 618? We don't know. We don't know. All right. So it's, it, it, and, you know, we've seen examples. Shit, we've seen stuff like this. You just don't know. What you're looking for is that structure. And if you miss it, so let's say it does that. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means you missed the trade. It doesn't mean you chase it. It means you, it just it didn't set up for you. So you wait. You wait until you get something that has the characteristics, the pattern, the structure, the probability, the time, the symmetry, the market geometry. What did the algos do? Right? So, I mean, algos bought this, right? So we may not get that. We're just trying to get behind them if it sets up to allow us to get behind them. And then does it unfold in an Elliott count? That's, that's all we're trying to do. It's just probabilities. And if I can identify what the Agos did last, I just want to tuck in behind them. That's all I'm trying to do. Right? And just using the Elliott wave to reduce the risk, to help me get some sense of where I am. Where is a trend beginning? Where is it ending? What, where am I in that trend? 
Uh, am I am I now? So if I put this one here, what am I looking for? It's just an internal retracement. Swing low to swing high. Uh, internal retracement. L looking for that internal to go external, right? So we get that's the that's the fractal nature of it. So it's waves within waves within waves, right? So can I get five here followed by three followed by five followed by three followed by five? Happens all the time. Happens every day. In in thousands of markets and thousands of time frames. It, it's just, it's there all the time. So can't, so it, you, so I take you back to this. If you, shit man, so you missed the trade, right? Next trade, next one, next one. Oh, it didn't set up perfectly. What, you know, if you're putting money at risk, wouldn't you want to wait for something that's set up just perfectly? I mean, why, why be sloppy? Well, I suppose you could say, you could make the case like, oh, you know, it's been, it's down. It's, you know, somewhere downish down here. Yeah, I'll buy it long term. Looks like it's come down. Well, has it come down? Yeah, it's come down. You know, if you want to, if you want to trade that way, you know, again, I don't know why you're watching my videos because this is about trading with precision, with probabilities, with targets, with absolute maniacal discipline about stops. Right? That's the only way you, re you can really hurt yourself. Well, Maybe not the only way, but it, it, it's certainly, it's, it's the self-inflicted wounds that are the worst, right? And it's usually because you did something stupid, like, oh, I don't, I don't trade with stops. I, always, I find I always get stopped out. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the stop doing its job, right? Because there are times when this happens, and now you're going, oh, shit, man. What was I thinking? You weren't thinking. That's, that's the whole point, right? There, there's no reason to, there's, there's just no reason to let that happen to yourself. Just no reason. Once you've seen this, right? There, there's just no reason to do it, right? Other than just lazy, right? Trading is not supposed to be easy. It is not easy. This is not an easy way to make money, right? It requires work. So why can you make money? Because most people are not willing to do this work. They're just not. They don't have the time. They don't know how to do it. Or they're just lazy. They're not willing to do it. Does, does that mean that they can't make most shit? Lazy traders in 2017 were getting rich just by being there. No, we're, that's not where we are anymore. Now, we might, we, might see, we might see crypto explode like that again, and lazy traders will get paid. But you know, I promise you, traders trading with this kind of precision will get paid more, and will we'll lose less when they're wrong. Put the work in. Don't be a lazy trader. All right, guys, tradedevils.com if you want to learn how to do this. That's it for now.